Mr. Walker, without the additional tax, isn't the city in some financial difficulty? We're in no financial difficulty for the city. We're better off financially because the, they have increased assessments this year in excess of $22 million. Now, that more than it's ever been in a history, and that give us a, all the money that was needed. The budget's already passed, and people are not being told the truth. One of the key selling points for the tax has been the proposed transfer of indigent care from the city to the county. Now, wouldn't this save the taxpayers a lot of money? Money. It wouldn't save the city or the county either one, one penny for, here's all we're doing. We're taking the uh, indigent care money, which is 80% of the people live inside the city. Uh, the, we pay the university hospital now a million and a half dollars a year to take care of our sick and our afflicted and our old people and people can't pay their own doctor bill. And uh, all in the world we'd be doing, not saving a city, not one penny, not saving anybody one penny, we would turn that money over to the county and they'd look after these people. In other words, they'd administer it. 80% of our folks would go to the 20% of the people to administer it. It's, uh, people are being misled, fooled all together on this question. There's no truth in what they're saying at all that there's any saving, they're not one penny saving. And Jim, another thing that's being kept quiet, you know, the legislature actually voted this uh, Medicare and uh, first of July, the, the state's going to take over most of our energy care, or a big portion of it. Mr. Walker, how would you propose to get these funds they say are needed for operation of our schools, police, fire raises, indigent care, and so on? This is the proper way to do it is do it like we've always done it. And uh, new shopping centers, new taxes, live within your, uh, your budget. Now, we've got our budget this year. There's no question about money now. Uh, it's it's not nothing to raise school teachers' salaries. It's nothing to raise policemen's salary. Nothing to raise firemen's salary. It's just a propaganda machine to try to fool people. Our our budget's already passed. Now next year we may be hard up, but we had 22 million dollar increase uh, in assessments this year. There's never been heard of, and 23 million in the county. Do you have any organized support for your position? Nobody but the people.